Hello, my fellow artisans and artists. Welcome to another Kushin build. I have decided that instead of trying to build this in the TerraCore series right off the top, I'm going to be building this in Journey Mode. That way I have access to all the blocks and have just a longer reach. And I just have to say, look how adorable my character is. This is a preview of what my end character is going to look like. Anyway, back to building. This is where we're going to start. I'm starting on the left side because my base is on the left side. And the first thing that I need to do is I will need to drain the ocean. Now, in forethought, which would have made this a lot easier, is instead of the draining the ocean completely out, I should have just relocated it to above my building area by using pumps. But I thought it would be a better idea just to bubble wall off the section I was planning on doing and then just draining all the ocean right into hell. Well, let's see a speed run of how I walled off the ocean and dug straight to hell. Super speed. Engaged. No, no, no. Not fast enough. Faster. 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 No, no, no. I think we can go faster still. You know what? Let's just skip to the end, where the ocean's all drained and we start the building process, because that's what you all want to see, right? Right? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we start with uh, just terrascaping the bottom of the ocean. I would feel like I wanted a more steep drop off while I build. Then there was just this little nine square circular pattern that I really enjoyed. I just bumped into it at random world generation. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and utilize this in a coral reef design. I think it would stand out and look really cool uh, with glowing moss. And yes, you're going to see a lot of actuators in this, because part of my plan was thinking that I would need to actuate everything, pour a bunch of water in there, then reactuate the stuff I want to pop. I was really trying to go for some unique coral designs here. This particular pattern, I was really thinking it reminded me of some of the more gappy coral that you see. the more kind of holy, if you will. Uh, this is to indicate the bright colored branchy coral. Um, I really loved making it bright fluorescent pink. It really just stands out underground, like under the deep water. And it doesn't look too bad if you don't actuate it. I don't like actuating it because then it just kind of disappears into the background. Although I do absolutely love the wavy effect. Um, here we want to be adding some stone accents just to kind of give more layers and levels to the the coral reef because a lot of coral reef is built upon stone which is in fact actually just dead coral <laughs> trying to do some texture variations some just to you know keep it different and then actually incorporate the coral which didn't blend with sand like I kind of hoped it would, but the miracle, I know not a lot of people like it, but the absolute miracle of smooth marble. It blends with everything. And then if you just paint it the right colors, not that color, <laughs> but if you incorporate the right colors into it, you can kind of get a nice blending. Trust me, it looks much better underwater because it creates a shading effect. Anyway, moving on, we made a couple more of the coral reefs of that particular design. This way, this particular design, I really wanted to be just all more all over the place. I really wanted it to just be organic, chaotic, and just, you know, not be perfectly symmetrical. And then I realized, okay, I need another one in the background too to help kind of, again, give more depth and raise up the level of the coral reef because if you have it in just one flat plane it looks like it's just on one flat plane here i got the idea for using silly balloon as uh tendrils for a sea anemone and then you just do different colors to get them not to blend together and eventually you have a very nice 
squiggly, tentacly looking be an enemy. I love it. And I left it pink. Probably could have done it a slightly different color because I've already got a lot of pink in the build, but meh. I like pink sea and sea enemies. Now here's where I wanted to get into some more alien-esque looking like plants, and I did this design in a previous kind of alien ocean build, and I just really liked how it looked with the glass balls on the end there, and especially when you actuate them, the water causes them to wave. It just, it looks really, really nice. Of course, unfortunately, I had to do a lot of actuating and reactuating of it for a lot of the photo process because, sadly enough, a lot of the plants with the water interactions and the angles of mahogany wood just causes it to have big air gaps. Here we are adding stone into the ground again to give a more of a foreground look to it. And later on in the build, you'll see I added gem spark walls to create more of that glowing effect that really, really brings it out. Special thanks to Dante for uh, recommending that. Thank you, Dante. And here I just decided to throw in just for giggle purposes, a few other color mosses, because I wanted to try and make it so that the colors were more evenly spread out. And it's about here where I realized I had ran out of actuators because I did have the accu pressure on and therefore I wanted to make sure again that everything was actuated so that if I did when I did eventually add water to it it would be easier to fill again this is before I thought hey I could just use tea I don't know if anybody's ever really tried this, but I do absolutely love using green spikes from the jungle temple to add that seaweed look. Like, I just, I really like the way they look. And they're also excellent vines if you want to create vines wrapping around a tree. And although they are usually dangerous to walk on, if you actuate them, their color still stands out at a reasonable level and creates this really nice effect. And since this is underwater, I'm not too concerned about making sure people don't die on these. They just shouldn't jump in there to begin with. <laughs> but most likely I'll be using other materials in the meantime because we won't have access to the jungle for a very long time. So I will probably have to uh, go in there with some vine that you can pick up and harvest. I've used it before, but it's, it's, it's alright. Here I'm using coral plants to kind of decorate. I'm just wanting to use a whole lot of them. I really want this to look really full, I'm trying to stick to a kind of a color pattern. I really wish there was an easy way to pick what kind of plants you wanted to use. And here's where I came up with the idea of using multiple dye plants to really fill out the coral and 
just make it more alive. Now again, I realize that I won't have access to dye plants until after April, so this is going to be a coral reef in progress, if you will. Same thing with echo blocks. Oh my gosh, do I ever miss echo blocks. Now, it was about here where I started doing my classic echo block pattern that you've seen me use for trees. Uh, it looks really nice for making these vines, but this was before I had remembered that doing this sort of decoration underwater doesn't look that good. That, and on top of everything else, uh, by the time I got finished doing this, I loaded into T-Edit, and it just ended up that the file got corrupted. So this world got corrupted, which really was upsetting at first, because this is my artistic renditions build, where I have all the build of the months that I've done ergo the monster hunter build and other stuff. Luckily there was a backup file that I was able to access and for the most part things went all right. It just meant that there was a lot of these details that I had to go back and do over again. And as you might see in the final builds there was just a lot of stuff that I didn't do over again. Like the floating plants. Which again I could have done in t-edit but I reminded myself that I don't have access to T-Edit in Terracore, so if I'm planning on transferring this over to Terracore, I need to make sure everything that I build here, I can actually build in Terracore at some point. Which means no T-Edit shenanigans. Alrighty, and with adding a few potted plants to give a little bit more of a glow effect and illuminate the place a little bit better, we have the coral reef finished. Unfortunately, I did not manage to film the beach as I was kind of forgetful and neglectful and I ended up forgetting to record me building the palm tree and the beach. But if you would love to have some great tree tutorial builds, I highly recommend seeing Cheesy Panini and her tree builds. They are phenomenal. And I use those as great inspiration for designing and building some of my trees. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. Thanks again and have a great day.